it's definitely a tough week. There's no question about it when you don't uh, play very, very good down in uh, Arizona. And uh, we challenge this football team. We challenge the, the seniors step forward. I can't be more proud of the way that they uh, really took this team and, and said to this team that we're capable of doing things and we're capable of doing this and that. And uh, I'm very, very proud of the way that uh, they took over this football team. And uh, I can't say enough for them. And I just thanked them in that uh, locker room and know that we've got uh, a tough game next week, so we're going to have to prepare. Um, as I also stated to that football team, we won the football game on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's when we win football games. It's how you practice on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday that enables you to be successful on Saturday. Talk about so, the aggressiveness and the offensive play calling with uh, you guys went for a fourth down a few times uh, also uh, and you know again I just we're trying to make the fighting Illini better so if that means going for it on fourth down then that's what it means going for it on fourth down we're in a situation today that we have to make our football team better and we have not been successful on third down so the fourth down situations too are, are things that I think that uh, can can help our football team as we progress through this football season how big is it? How much significance do you take out of a win like this with a team that's kind of struggled in the past? Uh, I mean, I, a win's a win. You only have 12 opportunities. You shoot for 13, you shoot for 14. That's what you shoot for as a football player. We're not playing basketball. We're not playing baseball here. You have 12 opportunities. And that's what I tell to this football team. We're going to cherish every opportunity. We're going to cherish every win. We're going to celebrate on Sunday when we win. And when we lose, we're not going to celebrate. So, What's the confidence level with you guys? Oh, we're very confident. Um, like, like I said, uh, the team that showed up last week, that wasn't us. That wasn't our Illinois defense, and it wasn't Illinois football, period. So, um, you know, it was good. You know, this game kind of get back to the things that we do successful. You know, everybody being in the gaps, playing hard, and just our base fundamentals. So, uh, we're, very, we're very confident going to the next one. How much does that help uh, defensively going onto the field after with the offense having so much success? It definitely helps. You know, um, we weren't playing in, you know, um, in our territory a lot, which is good. Good. You know, we had them backed up a lot of times, which, which um, you know, kind of opens up our play, our playbook as well. You know, because um, you know, we can run more blitzes, you know, we can take more chances on defense. So um, it was really good to see the offense go out there and be successful, and it uh, kind of gave us a lot of momentum. Mike, you may have been asked, but uh, you know, pitching a shutout that zero is a big number on the board. First time since 07, I think, for an Illinois team. How big was that for you guys? It was great. Um, you know, that, that was something we talked about all week. You know, we wanted to um, bounce back, you know, from our uh, terrible performance last week, and, you know, we wanted to pitch a shutout and just go out there and do, our, do the things that we do best. Best, our base um, fundamentals, you know, play hard yeah, and uh, like achieve that. So were you just open in the first half, or was he targeting you most of the time? Um, the play, no, it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't a Riley to Ryan thing, it was just uh, the play where it's designed to go to me on certain times, and that's what happened. What does a win like this do for you guys as you go forward, you know, to really <coughs> accomplish a lot of things and know maybe you're going to play some, some stiffer competition? Um, definitely, definitely gets the ball rolling, I would say. Coming off the loss last week, you know, it was really hard for us, so we knew that we could kind of play good today and just get right back on track, you know, we lost it last week, but we're not far from our goal. We're not off track from our goal at all. We go ahead and keep going. How different is it for you with Riley as opposed to Nate? Not too different. I mean, just a different number back there, really. The ball is just a little different. Comes out a little harder sometimes, a little softer sometimes, and just little things like that. But it's really, really nothing different. Was the opponent considered at all when determining whether or not certain guys would play? Um, I, I don't really care about the opponent. You know, I, I think we worry a lot about ourselves. We want to make sure that we take care of us. And then whoever we're playing, that's the opponent on the schedule. We, you know, we worry about Charleston Southern this week, and now we'll worry about Louisiana Tech. You know, I, you don't really concern yourself with that too much. Do you think if you guys were playing a, a Big Ten opponent that some of those guys would have played? Sure. They need to. I mean, we've got to develop depth. You know, that's part of developing a program. Um, I, I talk to our guys all the time about being a program and not just a team. You know, teams are good every third or fourth year when they have an older group. We want to be that team that reloads every year. And, and the way to develop depth is, depth is to be able to play those guys. Coach Beckman says it all the time, those young guys got to play, and uh, they're not freshmen anymore. And that's kind of the way we feel like it. So it's a real good game in that sense. I mean, you got a lot of guys on the field that, 
got some quality time. No question, and got a lot of early reps as well. So, um, you know, there was guys playing in the second quarter, you know, that were uh, freshmen, true freshmen or whatever. So, you know, got a lot of guys that play, and that's good. Yeah, the guys are running great routes in their open. It's, uh, it makes the game a lot more fun when you're just pitching and catching. But uh, obviously that one interception um, should just made a slide and get the ball to Darius a little bit um, deeper in the corner. So. Um, obviously, you can get better week to week, and that was a um, really uh, a couple of plays here and there. But um, that was the one that sticks out in my head. After last week, do you? I mean, do you feel a whole lot better about this week, just in terms of a confidence builder now? Going yeah, forward? I mean, uh, obviously we didn't perform like we wanted to last week, but uh, at the same time, gain confidence. Um, I mean, playing at Arizona State, um, it's a tough place to play at. But uh, mm -hmm. at the same time, Miles and myself both, both gained a lot of confidence playing there. So. Looked like they sort of tailored the play calling to what you do well. Did you kind of know during the week that you were going to get a lot of reps and this is going to kind of be your, your game to kind of take care of? Um, yeah, early in the week we didn't know if Nate was going to be able to play. I mean, he he probably could have if um, if we needed him, um, like last week could have played. Um, but I was getting a lot of reps, so it helped, definitely helps when you get a lot of reps and live reps and um, getting in there and throwing the ball around. So uh, early in the week or throughout the whole week, we were, uh, I was getting a lot of reps. For sure. What did you do this week that you weren't able to accomplish last week? Um, just execute, simple as that. Um, execute, we had a good tempo. Uh, obviously, you didn't have any delay games, which is uh, which is good, especially to start off drives. And, um, we just executed uh, pretty well. Obviously, we'd like to run the ball a little bit better um, and then just can't have any turnover, especially in the red zone. Um, like Coach Bay has been saying, we prepare like we're playing the, the New York Giants every week, so nothing's going to change with uh, with our scheming or with our um, with our work and our film watching, so uh, we'll be ready to play. You think these next two games can really kind of set a tone for the season? How do you guys attack that? Um, we're going to take it one game at a time. I mean, this next game is going to be big. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun.